Right guys, uh, so I'd like to show you this one. Back in the man cave yet again. And uh, this is another one I've just finished. This is a three string resonator. The beautiful uh, copper, uh, copper cone in there and copper plate. Um, three string, nice head. I put a couple of uh, nice abalone dots on the top just to make it look nice. Beautiful neck on this one, ash heel. Uh, the body is all in black. Uh, the sides there and the back and the uh, the top is in a, uh, a dark deep tobacco sunburst volume and tone oak string retainer I've done all the binding on this one you can't see the binding on the top because that was in mahogany and I've stained it down but you can certainly see the binding I've done all around the uh, the bottom edge <laughs> sounds lovely um, what does it sound like uh, just get the what does it sound like unplugged? Mmm, nice and loud. Can't stand plate for so play with that one anyway. So, uh, Sounds like uh, unplugged. Uh, I'll probably do a plugged in, plugged in one uh, later on tonight. Stick it into that little Roland cube and uh, see how it goes. Uh, the bridge on this one is un uh, the nut on this one is uh, rather unusual. It's tortoise shell. I had some tortoise shell uh, little bits knocking about off an old um, old cabinet uh, I knocked apart some uh, years ago. So I've done uh, one on this, and I've also done. Uh, one on another build I've done over there, uh, which I'll be demoing in later. So, this is for a guy who's in New Zealand at the moment. Um, it should be back any time now, so it's ready and waiting. I've had a month to build it, which was brilliant. I wish everybody would give me a month. Uh, and I can really, you know, um, build them to this quality. So, Sapili neck and a Sapili fretboard on this one as well, just to match. Uh, probably about six, seven piece head of um, Sapili and Ash and other exotic woods stuck on the top there and uh, a couple of strap buttons he wanted so you've got those as well mate so uh, thanks for letting me build it. Cheers.